Hello everyone, Mila here, and welcome to Turtles in Time, the arcade version. Let's kick shell! Via the, uh... Let's kick shell! Let, 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 apparently let's I can... Shell. I press start and it gives me lots of lives. All this is Turtles in Time, the arcade version, via the Cowabunga Collection. Let, let's kick shell! Let me start. I have never played this version of the game before, so... Oh, hey, voice acting! <laughs> In the hey, site. Crane, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag! A voice acting from the turtles, not just other things. Let's see what the differences are between this game and the original. I mean, this is the original. The Super Nintendo version. Oh, this does have... Splinter, what are you doing here? This does have throwing them at the screen. Of course, this doesn't have difficulty levels because it's the arcade. No, no, I need to accidentally press the rewind. I'm just getting beat up here pretty bad, too. Pizza time! So they make the pizza look different. The music's like really quiet. Or maybe just my volume's too low on my headset. No, I turned it up and the music's still really quiet. Now, so far as definitely Turtles in Time. Prepare to die. I like the voices they have here, but that does not sound like the Krang I know. The TV show. I wonder if the arcade version is like hard mode by default. Because it's an arcade, so it's designed to eat all your quarters. But this is free play, so there's no way I can actually lose. Yeah, they just go straight for the voice and then right into the fight. No delay before it begins or anything. Pizza Ow. Time. There's a delay when you grab a pizza, though. I gotta show off that it's a pizza. We're just playing an alternate version of Turtles in Time here. So we'll see what I've ever actually played. A nice laugh there. Well, this is supposed to sound like a fly, but... Flies don't exactly laugh at you, so you don't know exactly what a fly would sound like if it laughed at you. Oh, they just fall over here. Yeah, they're certainly different looking. Cool off, sucker. Huh. Yeah, so far I'm definitely liking the Super Nintendo version better. Of course, that could be a huge bias because I've played it for so many years. So yeah, I'm willing to admit, it just might be a massive bias. I'm really not going to be able to separate that, so... What the heck? Those aren't Roadkill Rodneys? Those are weird. Pizza time! The 
course, there's a lot of stuff that's done here that can't be done in the Super Nintendo version. Because it just can't handle it. Arcades are more powerful than consoles, obviously. But one thing I do know, I think I mentioned it in my uh, Super Nintendo Turtles in Time playthrough, that the Technodrome stages aren't in this version of the game. I'm aware of that. A lot of foot soldiers here. Ah, uh, before I can grab the bomb. Oh, uh, no shell shot! Yeah, they had a lot more enemies in this one. Probably because it's designed to eat your money. I should know when I get around to play. To mangle you green slime balls. <laughs> they kind of sound robotic. I know when I get around to playing uh, the arcade ver the original arcade version game, Pizza which is uh, Turtles 2: The Arcade Game on the NES, the arcade version of that. It's gonna be the same thing. It's like gonna be really hard and designed to steal all your money. Well, the NES game is gonna be really hard because it's designed to last a while because the game is so short otherwise. And NES games are just really, really hard. Rank of lives! I can add as many lives as I want. I can even pause the game. All I can do is add extra lives. And there's, there's no sewer here to fall down like if there is in Super Nintendo version. Ow. My toes, my toes! Uh, my toes instead of my toe. Yeah, this one's definitely got a huge number of foot soldiers compared to what I'm used to. This is a, this is like a normal level, not a bonus stage. Hey, pizza monsters are still here, though. I mean, I saw them, but it's still a little bit, so. My toes, my toes. Or maybe it's supposed to be my toes in the Super Nintendo version. It's just you can't hear it as well because of the digital voices. It's not as clear. It's more clear here. My toes, my toes. This, yeah. Definitely easier to tell what they're saying. I'm definitely not doing as well here. Like, I would never get KO'd in this level normally, but... Arcade version is different! When it's designed to eat your quarters rather than be, you know, just fun. In the back by a pizza monster. I can figure this is more like the, uh, the foot's actually trying to win. They're just sending a huge army after the turtles. My Watch toes, out my toes. Why don't they get hit by them? I mean, sure, they're all robots, but still, I want to see a foot soldier go, My toe! My toe! Pizza time! Oh, I just stop? Oh, a bunch of pizza monsters. Wow, there's so many of them. I'm terrible hit. I'm just getting torn up here. <laughs> what, do I have to beat so many of them to get through, or what? I'm just getting destroyed here. Yeah, I do have to beat them, don't I? My peace. 
Champions is wearing thin. Go back, no, uh, breaking? Time warp from which you will never return. So yeah, I just get no boss. I just get warped. That doesn't even look like Slash. Yep, yeah, there's no, there's not, there's not even a boss. Makes you wonder when Konami made this. Why didn't they have the Technodrome levels in it to begin with? I know this is the original version of the game. Super Nintendo version was later. So in a way, the Super Nintendo version is better because it's got more levels. Blow up now. Ooh, I think it's darker right now. It's actually, it actually got darker. It's not the same lighting. That's a nice little feature. Yeah, it is. They shaded the area. I was saying yes, didn't do that. Nice details. Light beams and such here. Pizza power! Ow. And I imagine you don't get extra lives here, all of that by putting in quarters. I mean, it is an arcade game. I wasn't looking at what happened when I got 200 points. They got mallets here, too. Stone Warriors. Got the sun cream, sunscreen, yeah. Now this is like uh, the fighting on the dinosaurs. It's like Golden Axe, except I can't ride it afterwards. Pizza time. And the ones that appear to block don't just seem to do a really good job of the blocking. What are you? Man, I just had a shower. Like, I don't even know who you are. The boss is gonna have life bars. You're just mud. It's like I'm fighting Batman's clay face. There's really not a lot much difference here. Figure the swords get like stuck in it or something. It's certainly easier to fight than slash. I don't have to hit him only in the back or something. I just had a shower. Hits really, really hard though. I mean, he is a boss, so that's what you expect, right? I know what bosses do. They do a lot of damage and have a lot of health. There wouldn't be bosses if they didn't. I'm gonna lose a lot more lives here than I did against Slash. It's funny because I'm so used to fighting Slash. Bones. That looks like the possibly took on Razar there. Oh, a much more detailed ship here. Oh, hey, they shoot flaming arrows. Good thing the 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 wood here doesn't burn easily, huh? Otherwise, they shoot a flaming arrow and let the whole ship on fire. Does these pop up? They don't. Okay, they do. I had hit one of them intentionally at least once. It's 
weird playing a game that I can't actually lose. Ow. My nose! Oh, uh, yeah. Here come the big guns. Literally. Ow. This is the arcade version. It's impossible for me to lose unless I just intentionally get a game over and don't bother to continue by giving myself more lives. But why would I do that? Pizza power! You're gonna give you lots of lives in this game because you're gonna need them because it's so much more difficult, even if it's shorter. Ooh, I feel seasick. When they just get dizzy from that, not necessarily seasick though. And to hit any of them. I've barely been on a boat in real life at all, so I've never had an experience of getting seasick. Definitely get motion sickness, though. I've definitely got plenty of motion sickness in vehicles, like when I'm trying to read. Usually I don't, though. I used to all the time. But I've tried to read so much in vehicles that it doesn't really affect me nearly as much anymore. But it still can. Usually it does it, but some days I still get motion sickness pretty bad, so I just gotta stop when I'm trying to read anything in a vehicle. That was raining. Yeah, still got rocks are here. So the bebop and rock steady. Pizza time. I didn't mean to grab that pizza, but I got knocked into it. Yeah, still got rocks are a lot more menacing in this version. They're certainly bigger, They're more muscular. I'm not getting uh, frozen or burned by them either. And if I just need one of them, there's the other one, uh, the this is the other, like, give out a rock steady, or do I actually have to beat them both? Because it's, you know, not beam up in a rock steady. Yeah, yeah, you can beat on me. It's not a big deal. I have infinite lives. I definitely like how they look here in this game. I know they still put them both and they demutate afterwards. Oh, they don't let it yipe. And the storm instantly stops the moment you beat the boss. Bury my shell at wounded knee. Yeah, still got Leatherhead. Ow, 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 ow. Swords to the shell! Is that the horse? I think that was the horse. Those eye beams again. And I get spun by them. How can you be seasick? This is a tray! Motion sickness or seasickness? It's not even the sea. What is that foot soldier doing? Like it's not the best AI. What the heck is that? Setting more stuff to the train. Looks like a clowns here. Ooh, I feel seasick. Oh, you gotta be a clown to constantly fight the Ninja Turtles knowing that you're gonna lose each time. Because the foot clan always does.
Yeah, not very good at hiding, considering I can see your purple underneath the cloaks there. Pizza time. I needed that. The mirrors, costumes. It's like a hot dog costume back there, kind of. The sleeves look like that anyway. Little hats. I was too busy looking at the background. Lead us tore me up, but it doesn't matter anyway. A foot chest. The foot will go on it. I want to play a turtles game where you fight a different body part. The explosion barely did anything. U.S. Mail! Yeah, it was obvious that this one is based in the United States. I mean, Turtles is based in the United States to begin with. It's in New York, so... Ooh, I feel seasick. Ow. Shot my bazooka! Unless the giant barrels are coming down to stop me. Oh goody, fresh turkey. Pizza time. Oh goody, fresh pizza time. Yes. <laughs> like it when you can, uh, the lines get messed up like that, but it somehow works. Goody, fresh pizza. Other hand wants to laugh. I also can't get near him without immediately getting hit. It's like he counters everything I do by throwing a knife at me. Or just kicking me. Like I can't even hit him without getting hit back. I have infinite lives, sure, so it's not a big deal, but... He seems to have low health, but he just counters everything you do. Like, we need more quarters from the players. Let's make it impossible to hit him without taking massive damage. That way, he also put in much, much money in order to beat him. Cowabunga! Foot. I'm gonna go beyond the train there. And the Neon Knight Riders? Neon Knight Riders. So you fight Super Grang. AD 2020. Oh yeah, no mode 7, so they can't do the three kind of 3D effect. It's just weird, it's normally the arcade always does things that the consoles can't do, yet here's the console doing something that the arcade can't do. Didn't even know if this stage was in this version of the game. Well, I didn't think you could throw foot soldiers at the screen either. You can, so. Ouch. Definitely harder than even hard mode turtles in time. Like, wow. The chain of pizzas up there. And they don't even use Roadkill Rodney's in this version of the game. The foot really want the turtles dead in this version. They don't hold back. Must have been a huge expense though producing all of these robots. Like, where do they get the materials and funding in order to do all this? I clearly see this is a one-way road. I keep saying that. One way, one way. No. 
Any of them, it's like uh, Eggman and Sonic. Where does he get the funding for all of that? Dr. Wily and Mega Man, all that stuff. Anytime there's a, a villain that just builds a massive robot army, it's like, where do they get the money for all that? Go down, for copter. Or just go away because I couldn't kill you in time. There he is. I completely missed for a while. Yeah, I can very, very safely say this game's designed to take all your money. So I'm glad I didn't actually play it at the arcade itself, because I never would have finished it without much cash, which I would not have had because I was a kid. More shell shock. So like I said in the original Turtles in Time playthrough, just stab Krang in the brain, that's literally all he is, ignore the android body, and just kill Krang himself. Then you won't even have a boss for the next level since it's Krang again. What kind of currency do I need to pay with, though? Probably dollars, because, you know, it is based in America. Starbase, where no turtle has gone before. But at the same time... I'm trapped! I'm trapped! Krang is from Dimension X, I believe. I'm trapped! So, what is some kind of currency there that you want me to pay? Or maybe you want cryptocurrency. Maybe it's just way early for that. Well, no. Technically, that was uh, 2020. I think crypto was starting then, wasn't it? I think crypto started in 2020. But definitely in 2100. The, unless it falls apart, which I hope it does. It's garbage anyway. Crypto is a big scam as it is, so... I like the background better in this version too. It's like a lot bigger. See another planet in the back and definitely got better backgrounds in this game, I'll give them that. But hey, better hardware. That's what I need right there, slam them on the ground. I definitely like the Super Nintendo music better, though. There's more two. It's two in the background in this version. It's a bit more in the foreground. In the SNES version, I prefer that. I mean, it's in the background. It's background music, so it kind of makes sense to be that way, but, you know. It's just too quiet. Now I'm too cool. 
And I got frozen immediately. I couldn't even move. Too cool. Now I'm too cool. I got the background's flashing and so is the lighting. Nice flat little effect there. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to get flattened. See what getting flattened looks like in this game. But I don't think I've had it happen yet. Oh, it's got hit in the back. Yeah, you don't always get flattened by those. Crush me! I want to get flat. Pizza power! I've gotten burned. I've gotten frozen. I've got. That's gonna me get burned again. And I've gotten to my toe. I'm electrified. I gotta get the instant kill from Super Shredder at least once, too. Let's see what that looks like in this one. to the bosses. I'm trapped. Anyone got a pin? <laughs> I don't get a pin because it's a bubble. The Shredder doesn't laugh in this version of it. <laughs> I think you're trapped in a bubble. Stop being trapped! Now the proper way to say it is... Are you trapped? Or are you trapped? You said it differently, so there must be a reason. There must be a difference between being trapped and being trapped! Crazy flash. Anyone got a pin? You have swords. Top it with your swords. I was gonna try to bubble damage you like that anyway. No crushing in this version? That holds our way home. Let's go! But how do you know that holds your way home? Technodrome, the final shell shock. Looks like Shredder's got a sword this time. Oh, there's a bit more to it here, nah. Still run forward a bit. Turtle Soup, my favorite. Uh, it's just Shredder! It's not even Super Shredder. Or does he transform after this? Wow, I didn't expect normal Shredder. And since I remember in uh, Turtles 3, the final boss is Super Shredder. And to figure, you know, Super Shredder is more powerful than Shredder. Big ol' hand. Who do you think you are, uh, the Golden Sun character? Using your giant hand? I never did finish the second Golden Sun game. I finished the first one and the third one. 
I hear the second one is like the best one. But I don't know. I played it a bit, but not enough to get any get any distance into it. And I got no real way to play it now due to it being on Game Boy Advance. And I prefer not to emulate my games. I haven't done that for years. So you're easier than Super Shredder. All you do is really just walk around. Like, well, later bosses are harder, and earlier bosses are harder than you. You're the final boss! Surely you can do better, Shredder. Falls off. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, our four reptilian heroes, have overcome the <laughs> villain Shredder. The random dude, the guy already jumped him up in the foreground. <laughs> wow, that was really, really fast. They just skipped past the ending instantly. Yeah, I get it's probably a bias. But I definitely like the Super Nintendo version a lot better than this one. Although this has got nice things to it, like the voices. Although they can be a bit repetitive if you get frozen or burned repeatedly. That could be annoying. But, yeah. Not bad. Could be better. I prefer the other one, as I said now. But, uh, I don't really know if I'm going to want to play this one again, this version of it. Hmm. Well, I can play it anytime I want. I got this collection, so maybe I will come back to it. I think maybe I'll play both Turtles games back to back sometime for fun. Big Apple, 3 a.m. But it just starts over again? Well, it is an arcade game, so it's like if you got extra lives, you can just restart over and over again until you game over, right? That's an arcade game for you. That, yeah, it's been. I've thought about going on to maybe another quick game, but no, it's been long enough. I don't know how long it'll be since a lot of the other games on this collection are blind, so I'll leave it here and say thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.